Today I'm gonna show you how to clean the DC Nespresso machine. So this is not just group head cleaning but also the steam tip and the water tank and the other thing. And I'm also gonna tell you how often you need to clean the machine. So first thing, daily. Daily cleaning. Daily cleaning, I recommend you to clean the group head without the detergent. So this is the espresso machine group head cleaning detergent. This is not for like entire thing. So this is the group head cleaning detergent. But for daily cleaning, you don't need to use this one. For daily cleaning, just you need to use water, but, 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 you still need to use the cleaning profile. Yes, I made the cleaning profile finally. And this is currently a nightly app, but uh, when I upload this video, I hope the profile is in the stable app. So John is working on make, making the nightly to be the stable app, so it'll be very soon. And the cleaning profile, the cleaning, or it, the, it's called Ford Flush Multiply 5. Yeah, you get what it does, right? We are gonna use that profile to clean the group head without detergent. I'm gonna show you. So I've been actually using this machine for two weeks. Never cleaned, because I just want to make this video and I've been drinking coffee like three cups in a day, every day, with this machine, without cleaning. So it's okay. Some of you may not clean the machine at all. So that's fine, that's totally fine for me. And the water is hot anyway, so fair enough. But the important thing is I've cleaned the water tank and drip tray really frequently. So yeah, that's a different story. So I've been using clean water, but I didn't clean the group head and I don't really use the steamer. So you just need your portal filter with the blind basket, then put the blind basket in the portal filter. If you use the 18 grams basket, remove it and then put it in like this and then put it into your grip pad. There you go. The angle is not right because I've been using wrong gasket actually. That's kind of like narrower so that makes the angle differently but for you, you may end up this angle. And if you go to setting and preset and eye icon, then you can find the cleaning forward flush multiply 5. So. So activate the profile, something like this, and then tap the eye icon again. And I also have made the how to use the basic features of the app, so you can check it out as well. And there will be cleaning dashboard flush multiply 5, and so tap it. Okay, I just need to run it. It just basically just waiting. I'm just gonna shortly explain about this profile as it goes. It's only pressure up to 10 bar and 0 bar. 10 bar, 0 bar. 10 bar, 0 bar. That's it. So at 10 bar, it'll give water at the maximum flow rate. When the blind basket is filled up with water totally, then it'll pose. And then at 0 bar, it'll do this. It'll drain the water out. It'll make this kind of noise. It's actually okay. It's totally fine. It's totally normal. You don't need to freak out about this oh, noise. There's just the machine emitting kind of steam that it's like stuck inside of the machine and pressure, especially pressure stuck inside the machine. So it goes like this for five times. That was five, that was five. And then now what you need to do is flush the dirty water stuck inside the blind basket. So take the blind basket out, the port filter out, and then throw the dirty water away. Oh, it's quite clean actually. And then use flush feature to just rinse it. So after rinsing it, so put the port filter back in and then run the same profile one more time. This is the drain and the graph should come out like this. So this is kind of proper like graph result. The pressure goes above 10 bar. That's normal. So you don't need to freak out about it as well. So that's the graph looks like. So 12 bar and 0 bar. 12 bar, 0 bar. So that's it. You may want to rinse it again. So something like this. You can rinse the pore filter. And that's it. 
if you do this every day, every after the last of the shot of the day, is it right to say? I don't know. But then you can keep the group head already really clean. You don't need to use the detergent, but do the flush two times, that's it. And another thing that you need to do daily is the steam tip cleaning. If you steam the milk just one time, you have to do it at the end of the day. Milk can be gone wrong real easily. So at night, unscrew the steam tip while you're running the flush and then suck it into the water. You don't need to use citric acid like solution. You just need to use water. Hot water, it'll be the best. So how you need to do is get some hot water. Maybe you want to use the like hot water feature on the machine and then put the steam tip into the water, something like this. And after one to two hours, you just need to use the needle. It doesn't matter if the string is on here or not. <laughs> you just need to use the needle. And take the tip out and then poke the hole. Something like this and steer it, kind of steer it. This is removing the milk residues, clogging the hole. And then check the tip. So you can just see the light through this hole. And the light can be seen through this hole clearly. Then that's fine. It's pretty clear, right? That is cleaned. And then just bring to the sink and then just wash it properly. Remove the milk like residue stuck on the like tip, remove them, and then put it in and then screw it back in. And then the water tank. Actually, you don't need to do it daily, but I recommend you to do it daily for the hygiene. Okay. So take a tray out. So the tray might be full because you already cleaned. So you may want to throw the water in the tray away. And then pull the lever up from the back of the machine and then drag the water tank out and throw the water away and then just wash them. Good thing is if you have this dishwasher, you can use it. You can just put the water tank or drip tray and drip tray cover into the dishwasher and then just put the like kind of capture kind of thing, the detergent, and then just run it. That's it. And then you may want to just clean the surface of the machine. That's up to you. And that was the daily cleaning. Now weekly cleaning. Weekly cleaning is a bit different and a bit complicated. But you can, I believe that you can just follow this instruction and then do it easily. Okay, let's go. So weekly cleaning, we need a detergent. Now we need a detergent. I saw that the detergent company, they recommend to use three grams of the detergent. So it's really small amount. So, but I just do something like this much. That's totally enough. This is detergent. Yeah, it makes foam and everything. So don't put it in your water tank and run it. Then, then may kill the machine. Before putting into the grill pad, you just need to kind of dissolve it. So use flush feature, give some water, and then give a little uh, shake, and then put it into the grill pad like this and then run a forward flush multiply five profile that's it and then waiting game again then you will see the water coming out like this it's different from when we are not using the detergent right so this is more like soap right so it'll give this kind of foam so don't put it in the water tank and run it because it may not be like totally soluble that's why it'll like kind of clog the heater or something that's it it's been five times so and then take the perfecto out so the water is kind of dirty how dirty this water is i already cleaned with just water two times but it didn't apparently it didn't clean the group head part really clean so in this way you can like kind of deep clean but not extra deep clean extra deep clean i'm gonna show you later so this is just deep clean the grip head so it's better to be done cleaning with detergent once a week right away 
and then remove all the detergent still stuck in the grip head using the flush feature, something like this. So until you see the clean water coming off from the grip head. Seems clean, right? That seems clean. And then stop. And then put it back in without detergent. And then run the profile again. If you use this espresso machine at your cafe, then you have to do the cleaning without water during the day. Probably after the peak time or like just after the half, the half of the day and then at the end of the day, every day you have to do the cleaning with the detergent okay, if you use d machines at your coffee that's the five times, that's it and then throw it away unlikely from the like daily cleaning you need to rinse it rinse the group head with clean water, that's it and now just throw the water away And then, now it's time to deep clean the steam wand. So you need this. So this is the ring jaw from Ernex. So this one has got the instruction right behind the back. So the top one is for the milk frother. So I don't need this one, but I need this one. So this one shows that I need to use the one ring jaw tablet. So this is the tablet type, but there is the really cute type with 250 milliliters of water. And then steam it. And then, after that, rinse it with just water. So I'm gonna get 250 milliliters of water. So firstly, this is very new. I've never done it before, to be honest with you. Because I don't really use the steam, so... Oh, is this supposed to... One tablet, in. Oh, so much dust. Oh. Oh. oh shoot, sorry. Oh. Water. Probably something like this. Turn 64. I think it's okay. And it's dissolving quite nicely actually. Now I didn't use the hot water because I guess the steam one will give hot water and it's gonna dissolve this tablet, I guess. So let's try it. I'm just gonna use the ghost steam technique. So put the steam one something like this and then just run the steam. I'm just gonna do it until it boils. The volume is getting much much bigger so I think it's boiling inside. And the solution color is almost white so probably I think the tablet is totally dissolved. Yeah, now it's making like bigger froth, so I think it's boiling inside. Oh, there we go! Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, cleaned water now. It, it's quite surprising. And the tablet is gone. That means the tablet is 100% dissolved. So yeah, you don't need to use hot water. Just use the cool water and then run the steam. It'll do the job for you. Then I'm just gonna throw the water away. And I'm just get more cool water and the run the steam for the rinsing. So I got clean water and run the steam. And it's the same, I'm just gonna do it until it boils. And it's gonna start to boil very soon. Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. And then I'll. Check the steam. Wow. Very nice and powerful. The steam one has been cleaned deeply. And now the water tank and the thimble. So if you are too lazy to clean the water tank daily, then that means there is still like a week old water in the tank. So, especially when you use refill kits. That's the problem with me as well. When I use the refill kit, I got too lazy. So I didn't clean it daily or weekly. So once in two weeks or once in three weeks. But if you are like using the machine at open environment, you have to clean it daily. 
you have to clean it daily, especially a coffee. Please clean the water tank daily. So throw the water away. And then you may remove the water tank for the cleaning, right? And then another thing to do weekly is cleaning the thimble. So if you see here, this thing is the thimble. So you just need to drag it out, something like this. Then there will be water stuck in, the uptake will come out, but ignore it. So this is a thimble. So you just need to soak it in the citric acid solution because the like acidic can remove the lime, the, what is it called? Scale, pretty fast actually. So probably if like half an hour will be fine. Yeah, just 5% of citric acid solution is fine. So put a bowl on the scale, put the thimble in. Ice, 1.3 grams, good to know. And then pair it, then put the citric acid. Probably it's 5%, so I'm just gonna do five grams. That's it, five grams. So I'm just gonna use the hot water. So make it 100. That's it, I have 116, but that is totally fine. And then stir it to dissolve the citric acid. So let's say it's been 30 minutes. So remove the water and take it out and then so clean it with clean water probably like this water clean it I know I didn't dish anyway and then put it back into the uptake something like this that's it and then put the cleaned water tank in and then clean drip carry back in and then the last thing you need to do it once in two weeks more than that probably okay once a month it's fine. If you do the daily cleaning and weekly cleaning properly, once a month is fine, but I recommend you to do it once in two weeks. This is the last thing. The last thing is disassemble the group head parts and then clean it. So remove the drip tray, then remove the cover, and then use your Phillips and screwdriver. This is pH2 size driver. Turn the machine off from the back switch. Because you're gonna use, you're gonna touch the group head part, and then it'll be really hot if you don't turn it off. And then remove the screw on here. If you remove the screw, you actually can remove two parts: this shower screen, and then this. You may have brass part, but this one is we are developing actually this part, this diffuser. And then there is another diffuser inside, right? So you just need to remove the three screws on here, here, and here. Oh. There you go, oh, shoot. There we go. Now you just need to wipe the rest of the group head parts. Be careful with the temperature probe. If you do really hard, you may break it and you cannot use the machine. So be careful with that. Clean it, wipe the dirt out. Okay, and then put them into the drip tray. Oh, that's actually clean. The plastic part does a really great job. And so this is the extra deep clean for the group head parts. And then you just need to put some group head cleaning detergent. I usually use like 15 grams. Yeah, that's kind of a lot, but I just used it. And then pour hot water, something like this. Probably 500 grams is enough, but I pour kind of too much. And then keep it as it is overnight. Then this seems quite kind of milky, but the milky color will be gone. And the group head parts will apparently be cleaned already after the night. You know, next morning, just remove the water and then just clean the group head part. Just don't, just don't, 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 don't lose the screws. Don't lose the screws. Let's say it's the next morning. And then I throw the water away. Just want to be careful. No, 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 no. So just wash them. So after you wash them, you just need to put them back. So how to put them back is just backwards. So firstly, the inner diffuser. So you need to line the hole up with the probes. Something like this. Something like this. 
and then put the screw back in. Easier if you do the middle one first. And then the second screw on the side. And then the third screw goes in here. That's it. And then the diffuser. So if you see here, there's two knobs, right? The two knobs goes into these two holes. And then this big hole right here, this probe goes through this big hole. So line the knobs and then probe. If it doesn't go in easily, that means you're doing wrong. Then just take it out and then line it properly. Otherwise you can break the probe. I've seen a couple. Okay, please. And then put the screen on there. You need to keep holding this diffuser. That's why we are turning off, we turned off the machine. You need to keep holding the diffuser with your finger and then well, put the screen on it and then you still keep pressing it. And then finally, the screw. Screw back in while you are keeping pressing the screen against the screw pad and then screw it in. That's it. And then turn the machine on. Now after that, you just need to check the water. You may want to ask about the descale. Actually, you don't really need to descale as long as you use like soft enough water. So we recommend to use like 60 to 120 ppm of water. Otherwise, the scale can be built up so that you may really need to descale. If you are using the water in the range, you don't really need to descale. So don't really worry about that. Okay, great. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.